Hello. Hi. I am so glad you decided to exercise today. Exercise is so good for your body and your brain. It's good for you overall. So glad you're here. Let's move on with this. We're going to start with a front of the knee exercise that looks like this. But of course, first we have to put our extra weights on. So I have an ankle weight. I can either lean over and strap it on this way, or I can bring my leg up and over and strap it on this way. Whatever day works for you, strap them on, and make sure the Velcro is tight. Okay, your weights are on. You're sitting up straight and tall in your chair, keeping your trunk upright. Starting on your right side, we'll do 10 kicks. One, two, making the knee as straight as it can go. Three, if it's not fully straight today, keep at it and you'll get it there. We need 10 repetitions. Six, you'll also find out that pulling your toes back a little, and reaching across the room with your heel is a nice way to get a little extra lift out of the knee. This is the last one on the right side. One set of 10 on the right, done. Let's go back to the left. Let's recommit to that nice upright position. So we're working our trunk as well as our leg and reach with the left leg. One, two. Another good thing to take notice of is that I'm holding my trunk still. And that's what I hope you're doing too. This way we isolate the leg muscle to give it the best workout we can. If we do this kind of rocking and rolling thing, forward and back, that doesn't isolate that leg muscle the way we would like to isolate it. We're also moving slowly because slow builds strength, controlling that weight. Last one on this side, back down. Great, we've done one set of 10 on both sides. Take some water, I invite you to do the same thing, and then begin again on the right side. Set up that position, that posture, and kick. Nice and easy, one, two. Again, slow movements. Trunk steady, trunk upright. Feeling the front of the thigh, kick the leg up straight. Likely you're feeling the back of the thigh as it stretches to allow that straightening of the knee. One more repetition. Makes 10. Great, two sets of 10 on the right are done. Let's go to the left side. Two. If you have to lean back on the chair, so be it, that's fine. If you can sit up out of the chair without leaning on the backrest, this gives you an extra little challenge. And challenge is good for us. Challenge is what brings us strength. The muscles rise to the challenge and they repair and they come back stronger. This is number 10. Great, we've done two sets of 10 repetitions on the right and the left. We're going for the third set of the quadricep or front of the knee exercise. Ready? Commit to upright. Reach out. One. Might be feeling hard by now. You might have to work extra hard at that last little bit of strengthening, that last little bit of straightening at the knee. Try to find that. 
Try to get that knee as straight as it knows how to be. Teach it what it's like. Good. We get into patterns of moving that might feel efficient, but they don't help our muscles be their best muscles. Last one on this side. Great. Now let's finish up with the left side. Ready? Straight and tall. Begin. It's the home stretch on the front of the knee quadriceps exercise. Three and down. Four and down. Five. These are your muscles that help you stand up from a chair. Climb up stairs, climb up curbs, get up off of the floor when you're playing with your grandchildren or picking up the dust bunnies. Last one, here it goes, make it count. That's it, back down. There you go. Got those knee extensors, otherwise known as quadriceps, our front of the knee. Got those muscles exercise. Take some water in and get ready to change positions. We'll be standing up and relocating to back to, to the side of the chair. I have to move my chair because I want to stay in focus on the camera. Hopefully you're set up so you just have to move into a position where you can hold the chair. You want to hold it for balance, but lightly for balance. You don't want to lean your whole body on it. Keep your body upright, feet wide apart, and just a finger, a, a finger's touch on the chair. This is for the side of the hip, and get ready because you'll feel it. Begin with the right leg in this position, and then lift up. One, two, three. Right? There's a great tendency to want to bend like this. Don't do it. Resist as much as you can. Body central. Seven. Eight. You'll feel this in the standing leg as much as the moving leg. Nine. Ten. Good. All right. Shake them out a little bit. And get ready to do the left leg. So put your weight on the right leg. Start with your toe out. And then reach up. One. Two. Good. Keep the waist still as much as you can. Just moving the leg to the side. We're on number five and six. Nice job. Seven. You're probably feeling the side of your hip on the side you're standing on. Ironically. Nine. You can do it. One more rep for now. Ten. And a sharp break. Good. Shake them out a little bit. I hope you're feeling those muscles burn. That's the that's what makes them grow. That's what's going to make them stronger for tomorrow. Growing pains. Back to the right leg. Beginning with your leg out to the side. And kick up. One. Two. Three. Another detail of this exercise is to the best extent you can. Face your toes and your knees straight ahead. Sometimes we like to turn them out to the side. It's not the same. Doesn't hit the same targets. So even if it means a smaller lift, it's better to keep the knees and the toes facing forward. Switching to the left side. Ready? Begin. Keeping that chest high, avoiding this. Try not to do the tippy tip. Keep the chest high, shoulders level. Five, six. Ooh, baby, you're feeling it. These are not muscles you use in everyday life, but they're important to your stability. One more on the side. Good. All right. The right and the left both have two sets of 10 done. 
Going for that third set where we really build and burn. Straight and tall, feet apart. Ready, go. I've got my hand on my hip, but that's not necessary. Anyway, with your hand. Four. Seven. I'm so glad you're doing this for yourself. Eight. Such an important part of your everyday life. Doing something extra to build your strength. Ten done on the right side. Now we do ten more on the left side to finish this particular exercise. Leg starts off to the side and then lifts. One. Two. Good. Try not to cheat with your shoulders and your waist. Four, five. It takes time to learn all of this. Six, have patience with yourself. Seven, and, that, and know that moving is worth it no matter what. Eight, nine, ten. And relax, good job. More on that topic, moving is good. If you have joint pains from exercise, you can always do some anti-inflammatory measures. Talk to your doctor or your physical therapist. There's a lot of ways to keep the joints happy while you're building the muscles around them. But it's important to build those muscles to support the joints. So we gotta get through it. We'll get through it together. Our next exercise is the hamstrings, back of the thigh, back of the knee. This, um, this exercise or this muscle gets built up when we bring the heel towards the buttocks. Not all the way to the buttocks, but towards the buttocks. So that will be the exercise. We do this with a light touch on our chair or our, our counter. Keep the chest up nice and tall. Keep the knee facing down when the heel comes up. Start with the right leg. Ready, begin. One, like so. Two, you got it. Three, like the other exercises, we're working hard at keeping the body upright. Not bobbing forward like so, but staying upright like this. Seven, eight, light touch, nine, and 10. Great, switch to the left foot, standing on the right. Go, one, great, two, three. When our hamstrings work, our quadriceps have to stretch. So you might be feeling a little bit of both of that, front of your thigh and back of your thigh. Keeping the weights under control through the whole motion. One more makes 10. Great, okay, we've done Two sets of 10 for our hamstrings, going back to the right side. Ready, begin. You got this, two, three. Probably really feeling those leg muscles tired from the exercise. Congratulations. <laughs> That's the mark that you wanna hit. Muscle fatigue, breaking down muscles, is what causes them to build up, and they build up stronger. Right side is done with 10 reps. Back to the left side, here we go. One, two, nice, three, four, and five. Nice, slow, steady pace. Six. Feeling your body do its job. Eight. You got it. Bring in circulation and flexibility. This is number 10. Great. All right. And I believe we are on the third set of 10 reps on the hamstrings. Ready to launch with the right leg and go. 
Still keeping that chest upright. Resisting that urge to bob forward. There's also an urge on this one to lift the knee. Try to resist that and keep the motion disciplined. Heel to butt. Two, three, nine, one more, 10. Great, our home stretch, left leg, heel to butt. Let's go, one, two, nice job, three, Come on, hamstrings. Five, six. Be there for me. Seven, eight. Two more hamstrings. Nine. And last one. Ten. Woo ha! Very nice, everybody. Get yourself a drink of water. Hopefully, you put it somewhere easy to reach. A good time to get a drink because we need to sit for a moment to take off our the weights, the ankle weights that we're wearing. Our next exercises will involve movement over our ankles and the weights are not required. Those off, however it works for you. Sometimes it's a little rough to find the Velcro and undo the Velcro. Take your time. If you have to stop the video, you can always do that. I'll be here on the other side when you turn it back on. I always encourage you to drink water. Important to stay hydrated. I'm moving the chair. You probably are set up so you don't have to move the chair. But I want you to see me from the side. So we're going to do some tippy toe exercises where we rise up on our heels and then back down flat. Holding lightly and staying up tall. Let's begin. One, two. When you raise your heels up, the ball of your foot does a lovely bend. That motion is quite significant. It's the motion that launches every step you take forward in the world. So encouraging that flexibility on the front of your foot is worthwhile. That was number 10. We're going to alternate this one with the opposite motion, staying up tall and lifting the toes. It's an unusual motion and it's very easy to substitute something like this. Try not to. Try to keep your hips neutral, your trunk upright. And just make the motion come from the ankles, lifting the toes. One more in this round. Good. Feet are flat. Shake out the legs a little bit. We get ready for round two of these ankle exercises. Here we go. Heels up. One. Your heels might not go as high as mine. If this is new to you, and you're stiff in your feet and your ankles like many of us are, your heels are not going to go through this full range. But ask your toes to give you as much motion as they can. Don't let them stiffen up any further. Feel that pressure on the ball of your foot. Lift that heel. This is number 10. Right feet flat. And let's switch to the backwards ones. Toes up, pressure on heels. Tiny bit of motion. At the most, the ball of your foot will come an inch off of the floor. If you're just new to this, the ball of your foot might not even raise off the floor. Just your toes. You might just have the shifting sensation, but practice it. It's good for you. Last one. Good. 
Now, one more set of our ankle exercises. Heels up. Let's go. One. One more nuance about this exercise. You're going to feel a unique way of distributing your weight over your five toes. Some people push more towards the big toe side. Some people roll out towards the small toe side. Just do your best to get all five toes on the floor and involved in this motion. Work on that over time. It's a project, not all in one day. Last one for now. Okay, switching back to toes up. You got it. Three. Again, trying to lift all the toes somewhat equally. Feel like I'm rocking on a boat with you. Lift those toes. Just two more times now. Home stretch. Beautiful. You have done three sets of 10 of those two ankle exercises. Glad you don't have to keep track. I've got that for you. Our last strengthening exercise is a mini squat. So let's take some water before we switch. Cheers to the water. I'm going to show you from the side, holding on to your support. You bend your hips back and then your knees. That's the exercise. Keep your feet about hip width apart. Let's begin. Hips back, knees bent. That's it. Little squats to build the entire array of muscles connected. Ankles, knees, hips, spine, beautiful work, it's whole body coordinated. You don't have to bend as far as me. This might be enough for you today. Work up your own challenge. Know thyself. That was 10, so we're going to take a break. We're going to give our legs a little rub, a little love. Because they're working hard. Good. Second set coming up. Little mini squats. Feet apart. Ready? Begin. One. Two. If you've been really working on this and practicing it, you could do a deeper squat. You have to do a little mini squat, you know, every time you get up from a chair. And these muscles work hard when you're walking uphill, upstairs, up curbs. We need these muscles. We got to give them some love and attention. This is the way we love our muscles. Help them stay strong for us. Last one of the set. One more squat. Woo, nice. Oh, folks, we are really on the home stretch. It's our last set of 10 strengthening exercises. Are you ready? I imagine you are. Hold lightly, upright, and go. One, two, the home stretch. You can see the finish line. Little squats will get you there. Hips go back, followed by the knee bends. Here we go. I'll count down our last three. Three. Two. One. We're there. The finish line. That was a good set of leg strengthening exercises. Take tomorrow off, but come back to it the following day. The recipe for best success on your leg strength, on, on building strength, 
is two to three times a week, always with a day off in between. So have a good day off, and maybe we'll see you again the following day. Bye.